Okay, this is the coupled pendulum experiment. I'm going to walk you through a bit of the apparatus before you see the data that you're going to be getting. Uh, these are our coupled pendula. They're two one meter long pendulum connected by a spring that's going to be at a variable distance uh, from the top. Uh, attached to these pendula we have a couple of transducers that are going to turn the angular displacement of the pendulums into a voltage signal that can be read in by our computer. The data that you'll be getting is from these pendula oscillated in a variety of different oscillation modes and for a variety of different positions of the spring. There's three different modes of oscillation that we're going to be examining and we'll have videos of these up in alongside this. We've got in-phase oscillation, which is when the two pendula are oscillating in the same direction simultaneously. We've got out-of-phase oscillation, which is when the two pendula are oscillating in opposite directions. And then we've got beat mode, which is when one of them starts oscillating and slowly drives the other one to oscillate. So how you're going to be taking your data is via an angle-to-voltage transducer, which is at the top of one of these pendula. As you can see, when I deflect the pendulum, the measured voltage will change, and we're going to be providing you with measurements of these voltages, which are proportional to the angles. So at the top of the pendulum, there is an angle to voltage transducer, which is uh, controlled by this variable potentiometer. As you change the value on the potentiometer, it's going to be changing the zero value of your voltage. Why do you want to do that, Tom? Oh, so you might want to do this because you want to zero the measurement. So ensure that the voltage reads zero when you've actually got it at its center position. What if you don't do it? If you don't do it, it actually doesn't make a difference. Oh, yeah, you're fine because the Fourier relationship isn't going to change with a DC offset on the potentiometer. So it's fine. If, you're, if your voltage isn't centered around zero, zero, that's not going to affect the results of your Fourier transform. So you don't need to worry. So before the signals are sent to the computer, they're relayed through this thing called a shunt capacitor. Now this shunt capacitor is connecting the signal line to the ground, and it ensures that high frequency signals are not passed to the computer, but are instead are shunted to the ground line. So because you're expecting to see frequencies on the order of 0.5 to 1 hertz, any frequency that's a high frequency must be uh, noise from the system. By using the shunt capacitor, we can ensure that any high frequency components are not taken into our signal, and it allows us to reduce a lot of the noise that we're going to be seeing in the experiment. So this is an example of the data that you'll be provided with. At you the moment, we've got it oscillating in phase, in phase yeah. and you can see that the phases of the two sinusoids on pendulum 1 and pendulum 2 are the same. Here's an example of an out-of-phase data set. You can see here that the sinusoids for both pendula are out-of-phase. 